Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Life on Bald Amy Joe. And this week we tackle the Penderford Narrows on the Shropshire Union Canal. We lose a member of crew overboard. And we have a film crew join us. And we make the final turn off the Staff and Worcester onto the Shropshire Union Canal. Well, good morning everyone. Today is Sunday the 16th of April. We've just left our mooring at uh, the Fox and Anchor near Coven or Cross Green, depending on which side of the canal you look. It's a bit of a damp day today, so I doubt we're gonna get much filming done. The rain's coming and going all the time. And uh, we've had to put the cameras away. Um, so we'll see what we get today anyway. But the destination hopefully today is brewed um, it just depends on how well we get on, whether we get any hold-ups or not, but uh, we should make it. It's about two and a half, three hours cruise, but the rain is due to um, ease by lunchtime, so hopefully we'll finish off a bit drier than we start. But I'm going to put the camera away now because I'm getting soaked. I need to get the brolly up, and uh, Chris has had to go down the front because there's no point her getting wet. So it was a bit of a lone cruise for me today, but there you go. I'm used to that. And we're used to the rain, aren't we? You know by now. When Amy Jo cruises, the weather turns wet. When she moors up, the sun comes out. It's just par for the course. Actually getting a bit more of a coincidence now. More than a coincidence now. It's just uncanny. Somebody's got it in for me and they want me wet all the time. And no, don't do a Heidi on me. On this leg of the journey, we leave the Stafford Worcestershire Canal and turn on to the Shropshire Union for the last leg of our run up towards Chester. After an overnight stop at Coven, we continue our journey underneath the M54 and down to Alderley Junction. Here we make the tight turn onto the Shropshire Union, through the stop lock and then carry on up past Penderford and we finish up near Bridge 7 on the Shropshire Union Canal. Now this boat is uh, known to us, this is Peter Lou. She used to moor at Tattenhall. I think the owners, the original owners who had her from New, have sold her, but uh, we wonder what she'd got, where she'd got to. We're now in what's called the Pendleford Narrows. Now again, uh, this one started out as a tunnel which collapsed. So they took the top of the tunnel off and they've just left it open. We're just on the approaches here. We're not actually in the narrows just yet, but as you can see, it does narrow considerably. stand corrected that wasn't the Pendleford Narrows although it was the approaches to it 
just ahead is the Pendleton Narrows and I've slowed the boat right down because uh, it's quite shallow through here and uh, the more throttle the slower you end up going you see at the edge here just how much Amy Joe is drawing the water away from under her it's uh, not that deep here it's about two foot five something like that they recommend two mile an hour going through these narrows as you can see there really isn't that much space it's like being in a lock actually uh, we're lucky so far can't see anything coming the other way at the moment so uh, i think we're getting away with it to make it possible we have a man overboard situation on our hands folks Use the camera flying around everywhere but Paul Lenny the Lion has gone overboard so we've got to go and retrieve him Paul Lenny <laughs> looking slightly bedraggled we've managed to retrieve Lenny the mangled lion that's one of Smudgy's favourite toys and uh, it got dropped overboard and as luck would have it because we were in the narrows I was able to fish him out of the water so our man overboard drill works <laughs> We're low bridges and our new internet aerial well not so new now of course is that every time we go under a bridge it gets knocked so Chris has very kindly volunteered to uh, do the gunnels no we don't want a second man overboard <laughs> a woman in your case well I shouldn't say this because I'm probably gonna put a hex on it now but the wind the rain has finally stopped and uh, I've been able to get the covers down. But yeah, that was a little bit exciting in the uh, narrows there. We uh, lost one of Smudge's toys overboard. So fortunately being in the narrows, we've managed to retrieve it, but it does look a bit bedraggled now. So I think it may end up going in the washing machine. <laughs> Still, I shouldn't laugh because it could just as easily have been Chris or myself. But uh, there you go, at least we know our man overboard drill works. I mentioned this before the last time we came through here it might have been on the blog I'm not sure even I even filmed it but this group of tall poplar trees were planted many many years ago for a purpose and that is just behind them and I don't know if you can see it in the background there the blue building and the building next to it is actually a high school and the story goes that the headmaster was so fed up of pupils gazing out the windows at the canal boats that in order to stop them he had these poplar trees planted so that they couldn't see the canal anymore they're quite impressive aren't they 
and you can just see the school in the background there. This is what Alderley Junction looks like today and this is what it would have looked like just after it had been restored. This turn here virtually goes back on itself, so it's quite tight for Amy Jo to get round. And we haven't got those funny things, those bow thrusters, so it has to be done by steerage alone. <laughs> Nice and close, and into the lock, all of about six inches. <laughs> Very nicely done, sir. Better than I thought you would. Yeah. Don't spoil it now. <laughs> That's it. Now on to the shoppy. I'm watered. I'm watered. Yeah. Home waters, as Steve says. That's it. Back on home waters now. Our favourite canal, or one of our favourites, the Shroppy. It's where we spent the first years of our cruising life on this canal. Don't think I'll let the lock down or up just yet, especially with where Steve's button is. Too far forward. Alderley Junction is home to the rather large Napton narrowboat fleet. They're well-maintained boats and we threaded our way through a lot of the moored boats which was unusual for this time of year. Normally their boats are out. I knew I'd put a hex on it mentioning that the weather had turned dry. Just after we got through the stop lock at Alderley the rain started. The weather has now finally closed in. It's absolutely throwing it down now so I've got the brolly up to try and keep me dry all the cameras have been put away and uh, we're cruising in the pouring rain at the moment which we don't normally do but um, we have a deadline to be at Aldham on the 24th so we've got to keep going and uh, we've still got a fair ways to go yet but uh, there you are never mind such is life on an arrow boat in spring you either get nice bright sunshine, freezing cold weather, or you get nice mild weather, but it's wet. So, uh, and we're used to the wet, as you well know. So, uh, there we go. Having made the turn at Alderley Junction, we're now on the Shropshire Union Canal, and the final leg of our trip back up to Chester. But the weather still hasn't improved. It's still wet. It's still cold. But we're making good time, so we'll be there in plenty of time. 
those of you that have follow us and the live feed will have spotted that we've had a, a film crew with us or will be revealed shortly but here's a little insight of what they were doing while they were with us I mean every so often you get sent to Mauritius but it doesn't happen oh. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often <laughs> While they were with us, they were filming every aspect of day-to-day -day life on Amy Jo. Dave wanted to include young Smudge in the filming and he had a role to play. Although at first he didn't want to cooperate, but he soon became the star. One of, one of the problems of having a dog <laughs> on the boat like Smudge. So this is a joy of having Smudge on the boat while Chris tries to hoover. Let's see what Let's happens. Let's see what he does. It's all good fun this, I tell you. They say you should have to work with animals in the film industry and Smudge was proving the point. Oh, marvellous. He just sat there and yawned and looked at as if to say, what am I supposed to do? Well then. But then I think the penny dropped and he realised what was needed. Penny rose to the occasion and did his part perfectly. His performance must have been good because they asked him to repeat it only this time with a GoPro strapped to the head of the hoover. That's exhausting that, that is. That is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over five separate days, a member of the film crew joined us on our journeys and filmed us doing everyday things like putting the washing line out, taking an online delivery, even mooring the boat up. While this was going on, there were interviews of each of us. And of course, as you've seen, Smudge was uh, also included in the filming. But we can now say that the filming was all for a series on Channel 4 called Narrow Escapes and we will be appearing in three or four episodes of a 20 episode series. We can't show much video of what they filmed because obviously they will be uh, using the film on their TV program, nor can we tell you the exact date when it's going out. We know it's either going out at the end of this year or January of next year. So that's something to look out for and we will let you know as soon as we know. Well, that was a bit of exciting news for you, wasn't it? Eh? <laughs> so, yeah, so basically the, 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 the program is, is being uh, filmed for Channel 4 and it's going to go out on Channel 4's daytime TV, isn't it? Yes, so, what is it, sort of five episodes a week? No, no it's 20 episodes. 20 episodes, an hour a day, isn't That's it? That's it, yeah. And ourselves and several other boaters yes. actually will have 20 minute slots on the episodes. Now, we've been told that we are likely to be appearing in three, three to four yeah, episodes. Reckon. There's no guarantee. They, they've said it's not 100% no. because it's all got to be approved by the commissioner of Channel 4, apparently. But they've got <laughs> approval for the film to go, the programme to go out. So that's good. So that's good. So as soon as we get a date for you of when it's going to air, we'll let everybody know and... Uh, Let's just hope we do appear. <laughs> so it, was, it was quite exciting. It was quite an experience, yeah. I think. If nothing else, it was an experience to have a film crew yeah. on board. <laughs> yeah, especially 
as um, you'll be, we'll be able to show you later yeah. how they were climbing all over oh. the boat to film us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we can't, we, unfortunately, we're not allowed to show too much video at this stage no. uh, because we've we've taken a lot of video and given it to them, and it may get used on the program. Yeah. So they've asked us not. We we can tell friends and family. We can put it on social media, but we're not allowed to show any of the video. So the little clips I have done is just really showing you the film crew themselves, not what they've actually been filming. So um, I apologise for that, but it's all good stuff. You'll, you'll see when it <laughs> happens. So that's, that's enough waffling for us. Yeah. We, we really wanted to let you know that this is occurring. And those of you that watch Chuggabug, uh, you'll know that Captain Gary Phillips, or Gary Captain Phillips, sorry, is also appearing yeah. in the series. And you might spot a few other vloggers announcing the same thing so uh, watch this space on that one so enough waffling yeah thank you very much for watching thanks to all our new subscribers we seem to have yes. had a flurry of new subscribers recently so thank you very much for signing up and for those of you that don't know i'm steve and i'm chris and this one is young smudge the dog yeah and he's got a star in role in the tv series yes, as well so watch for that so take care everybody hope you're all keeping well and safe and uh, we'll see you next time on Life on Board, yeah. Amy Joe. Bye. Bye. Bye.